Hello and welcome to Desert Trippin'. Today is gonna to be a quick little run out to Valley of Fire, and it was kind of an unplanned trip. I'm actually here in Vegas, visiting my son, Joey Bowie. Yeah. And we have a special guest here, What's Lorenzo up? Levy. And we're gonna do a quick run out to Valley of Fire. It's pretty awesome. Not sure what we're gonna see there, but uh, there's some cool stuff, and uh, we'll check in with you when we get closer. So There's the new uh, the Raiders stadium. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so we are now gassing up um, here. Just got off the 15 freeway, and uh, I think we're on exit 75, and it's the Valley of Fire Lake Mead exit. We're getting there a little later in the day than what's recommended. Um, it's going to probably be noon high noon so that's one thing that you probably don't want to do when visiting valley of fire you probably want to get an earlier start than what we did so um lesson learned but i think um still going to be cool we're going to find some some cool stuff to see over now Okay, so we just headed out onto the Valley of Fire Highway. I guess we go two miles this direction, and then we veer to the left. It's probably over yonder. So I hope you can hear me. I'm, I don't have my better mic on right now because we're kind of running and gunning. And uh, we'll check in when we get closer to the Valley of Fire. But we're now. Valley of Fire, baby! Okay, people, this is uh, the entrance here. Okay, we're now inside the Valley of Fire, and uh, it's pretty cool so far. We're, we're gonna do one quick drive-through uh, just to see what's here. I think we're passing the beehives right now. That's easy to see on our way back. We're gonna go to the east end, then turn around and, and kind of come back through, just to get an overview. Um, we definitely want to see the fire wave, but if there's anything else that looks interesting, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. We got here kind of late, so we might not be able to do everything. So um, this is a good, uh, a good intro to Valley of Fire. Look, we have some visitors here. This is so cool. I was telling Joey and Lorenzo that the bighorn sheep are known to just kind of cruise around here and uh, they're definitely cruising around. Hi! Look, it's a parade. Quite a few of you. I've never seen bighorn sheep before, so nice white asses.
Well, people, we have made it. We are in the park. We're doing a quick drive through behind me. You can see a bunch of the stuff we just drove through. Oh, hold on a sec. What's that? You go down that way? We just got uh, some helpful advice on where the uh, fire wave is. Um, hopefully it's the right advice. All right, uh, over and out, three, two, one. Hey people, we are at White Dome. Um, this is the furthest into the park that we're gonna be going. And it basically is a big roundabout here. I'll do a little spin around so you can see what I'm talking about. But um, our plan is just to stretch our legs here. This is the furthest point in the park we're gonna go. Then we're gonna drive all the way back out to the east end and and then decide what places we're gonna go back and hit. We wanted to do a quick overview of everything. And uh, that's where we're at. I mean, things are so fucking awesome here. I mean, you just can see all this stuff and take a few stills up here, but um, we're not gonna be here long. So hope you're enjoying this so far. Okay, so that was uh, Elephant Rock. We just uh, got a good look at it. Pretty cool. Um, we were gonna discuss what we wanted to do on the way back. Uh, we're gonna hit a few more places. I think the consensus was, are we in or out on the fire? What, what's it called, fire? Uh, fire walk? Fire walk fire? Fire wave. Wave, you say walk, yeah. I think we, it's, it feels like the air temperature is in the 80s or 90s. It could be a feel a little hotter, but I think we're okay if we have water, right? Okay, so we're gonna do the fire wave which would be awesome. That's the one that they always show in the brochure of this place. Um, Beehive is just something we'll stop at on the way out. Um, and then, what? anything else call out to you? Like at Lattle, the petroglyphs, you guys? Anything? Petroglyphs? The petroglyphs or the, the arch, the arch rock, or did you see anything back there that looked cool? It all looks pretty cool to me. All right, so we're just going to go with it, and we stop where we stop. Okay, see you at the next stop. So we are now at the famous Seven Sisters. One sister, 
two sisters. Three, four, five, six, seven sisters. I call this shot seven sisters and two brothers. It's really cool. Look at this shit. It's just fucking awesome. Look at all this, man. Awesome stuff, man. Look at this. And there's one of the wild mountain men of Valley of Fire. These rocks are also a resting area for this rare species of mammal. Still not quite identified what it is, but interesting. There's been some climbing around here and uh, and some exploring. I'm letting the younger guys do the scarier climbing. You can kind of see one of them there. That's Lorenzo. And then up above him, above, above that rock is Joey. Hey, Joey, wave your hand up. Yeah, see, he's way up there. And so we, uh, we have a couple more of the Seven Sisters to look at. I think we've seen most of them. This is the edge of the Seven Sisters. I'm actually not sure if it's another sister or just maybe a distant cousin. This is that little sister over here. Over there's where the guys are climbing. We're gonna go back and join them. The ground is beautiful. Look at this. I actually love this color scheme of uh, the red earth with the, uh, like the sage green. Nice stuff, nature. Look at this thing. What kind of rock is this? Looks like a tortoise. I will name this tortoise rock. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you tortoise rock. So I think we come around this turn and we should see those guys, those two crazy mountaineers. Where are they? There they are. Whoa, from here it's like way up. Just hop down. Just come down. No. You better not. If you die, I'll kill you. Okay, we're gonna fade out in three, two, one. Okay, so we conquered the seven sisters. We had our way with them. And uh, I think our plan, guys, is head back into the park, head back past the visitor center up that cool drive and head to where the fire wave is and just get that out of the way and then everything else will be icing on the cake, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Okay, cool. Over and out, three, two, one. Okay, people, we are at the Fire Wave trailhead here. We're gonna go walk over and see some fire waves. Whenever you're walking with a couple 20-something-year-olds, this is the view you get. Sand just got a lot softer, more spongy. And these cool old rocks here are pretty badass. I think it's a mile and a half in and a mile and a half back. So in this heat, we're all hydrated and um, we're ready to see some awesome fire waves. Dudes, fire wave. Hell yeah. Fire wave. Fire wave. So we're probably about halfway on the trail. The sun is definitely hot, but I'm glad it's not 20 degrees hotter. We made it. We're here. This could be the fire wave right here. I think this is the fire wave? This might be it, huh? I think this is it over here. I guess this is the fire wave. This is what we've been looking for. 
It's pretty interesting. Firewave. Look where we are. I've lost the boys. Hopefully I find them soon. But this is pretty cool. This is the fire wave. It's pretty wavy, pretty fiery. Wish I could see my son, Lorenzo. Into here, there's a dust covering it up, but like you can take off the, the dust, and there's just like a fault line. Gonna be some funny video later. My lips are dry, I'm parched, uh, I'm dehydrated, our water's back in the car, and we spent a little time, uh, got separated from Joey, but we just heard that he's back by the car. So that is a big relief, and we're about two thirds of the way back to the car and it kicked my ass basically, just whatever it was, three miles, uh, both ways. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God, if I get back to the car, I'll be so happy. Just that much further to go. Oh my God, okay. We really tested our bodies. Uh in the fire wave and uh, I actually felt grateful to get back to the car but I think we're all valley of fired out so hope you enjoyed our adventure Joe Bowie desert tripping over and out in three two one